type programmers, we're going to work a little bit more on this form. Anyway, unfortunately, this is the second time I'm doing this video, so some of it's already done. Anyway, if you'll notice, I removed that find button. I did not like him. Okay. And then on this um, in PRE ID, I created a event for um, enter. Believe for enter. And from there, all I did for that was in after I double clicked it, it created this method, and I just said, well, I, upon entering that, I want that grid to equal false because we really don't want a blank box showing or an old box that has old bad data or anything like that in it and showing. And then I come over here to week number, and we created an event for leave, and for that we copied the code from the week two box and we modified it and uh, right now uh, we're checking the integer and we're sending it that number and then um, if it's um, bad we're going to send an error message or and change the focus and if it's good we're uh, gonna do some other work which we hadn't got around to that yet though and among the work we're gonna do is we're, we're not going to do everything today. We're just going to do a little bit. Um, so, uh huh. Copy. Uh, we'll see how we like this. We might not like it. And we might not keep it. Let's see. Okay. We've got, um, I created something called Get Segs, which um, we haven't created that yet. You'll notice they're all red. Um, so for here, uh, hours group box, we have not created hours group box yet, but we will. We said that's true, and then we said seg group box visible. We're going to say he's invisible, or we're going to make him invisible again later. And then we're going to do something called get segs, but I really don't like the name of that. So we're going to say get um, out. We'll say get uh, hours and CG CG segs. Alrighty. Now then we're gonna come down here. Okay. I think we got one too many here. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna create this, but we're not gonna do it today. We're just gonna create it private void uh, if I do return something which I don't think I will we'll change that void to something else get hours and sigs and we're probably going to pass something to it but right now I'm just going to leave it um, empty and we'll worry about what we're going to pass later so let's, let's see if this will build Uh, and you'll notice on the week I did not do the um, um, check-in for like 10 weeks worth of time like I did in the last one. But I don't care. They can be able to uh, look at data from a long, long time ago. So we're going to add myself again or just look at it. And we're going to say for this week, and it displayed the box. Right now it doesn't have anything in there though. So let's go back to this field and it should make that box invisible again. Okay, it did. Now and then if we come to time clock, I want to call that just hours, and it, mm, that's a, a judgment call. You can zero it out or you can leave the last one. It, I don't guess it really matters. It's just for your uh, preference. Um, maybe we'll go ahead and zap them out when we change to that real quick. Okay, for three. Now let's say um, PRE ID text box three dot text equals then PRE ID week. P oh no, got the wrong name there. But we want the third week dot dot TX. Equal 
equals. And what else do we want to do? Name label. Label three. Dot. Okay, let's uh, see how we like that. If it'll compile. Okay, let's go to adjust hours. Do me again. Okay, now then, um, let's do this. Okay, now let's go back to the time clock. Now we'll go to adjust hours again. Okay, that's the way we want, want it to look. And um, I will start on something new next time. Bye.